Hi everybody. So today's installation of the Sergeant at Arms is titled President Donald John Trump is not a Republican. Let me provide some context to that statement. And so uh, recently President Trump had a meeting at the White House. He called together all of the leadership of the Congress. So let's, de let's define what leadership for the Congress is. The Senate Majority Leader is Mitch McConnell. The Senate Minority Leader is Chuck Schumer. The House Majority Leader is the Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan. And the House Minority Leader is former Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. So those were the four people who were the major players. There could have been other people there as well, but they were the major players because they're the leadership. And so basically the gist of it is President Donald John Trump uh, ended up making a deal that spoke to the things that the Democratic Party wanted. So the word is he, he and Chuck and Nancy are best buds now because Chuck and Nancy came to the White House to talk about how to move forward because they haven't been able to accomplish anything as a Congress with him as president. Um, and so they came to the table with a plan and apparently Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell came to the table with nothing. And so let's, let's look at this reasonably, which is Donald Trump says he's a deal maker. And so if somebody shows up to a meeting with him, regardless of what party they are, regardless of whose side they're supposed to be on, and they don't have a deal, but then another, the other side does have a deal, the likelihood that he's going to say, you know what, these people came with a deal and you didn't. Their deal ain't that bad, so let's let's take a look at it and um, let's kind of move forward based on that. That's basically what he did. So now the Republicans are bent out of shape because it looks like he's now siding with the Democratic Party. That's not what this is about either. But just to add a little more context to the context to this, when he ran as president, the Republican Party was not on board with him. They knew he wasn't a Republican then, but just for the purpose of winning, they were willing to sacrifice their morals, their position, their place in our society for the win. And now they're doing that. And now they're having to suck it up because they have a president who doesn't represent them very well and that they don't really, that they're not really on board with. But they have to save face and say, well, he's our president. He's a Republican. We're, 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 we're with him. Of course, they're with him until it gets really bad and he starts supporting white supremacists. That's when they say, eh, I don't know if we can be with him. We, we still agree with his policies. We still want to work with him, but that was unacceptable. Okay, well, at least they did that. But the whole point is, when he was running, they had the opportunity to say, you know what, this guy does not represent us as a party, and so we're going to kind of step outside these boundaries and, and make a decision based on what's best for our party and what represents us the best. And Donald Trump, Donald John Trump is not that person. That's not to say that he's a Democrat, because I really don't, I don't think he's a Democrat. I think he does have some conservative ideas. But at the end of the day, um, he's, he just will go whichever way he thinks is best, Democrat or Republican. Having said that as well, he's a New Yorker. And so there's no way that he's going to be just so far to the right that he thinks he can survive in this world. He knows enough to know that, particularly living in New York City, there's no way you can function without having some level of progressive thinking um, and embracing some level of progressive ideas. Let me also say something about progressive ideas or the word progressive. I find it curious that the Democratic Party has kind of branded themselves as progressives and they've kind of claimed that word and attempt to own it. I think that's wrong as well. The word progressive basically means to improve, um, to make better, and why can't Republicans want to improve things and make things better? They certainly do. Um, so why can't progressive thinking be conservative thinking? I mean, conservatives can have progressive thoughts and they can embrace progressive ideas. Being a conservative should not preclude that. Being a liberal should not preclude that. But the idea that the Democratic Party has decided to own that word, I think that's wrong. And I think one of the best things that the Republican Party can do is say, listen, 
Why can't we be progressive in our thinking? I think that would go a long way to bringing in some of the people who just kind of don't believe in what they say. You know, people like myself who are tried and true independents, who you've got to make the case for me, just like you've got to make the case for any other independent to get my vote. And that's the way it should be. And so people who choose to be conservative should really kind of embrace the, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm conservative, my, my I, ideals and my policy positions are conservative, but that's not to say that they can't be progressive in thinking because I do want to improve I do want to improve our economy. I do want to improve our healthcare system. I do want to pr improve our um, s s the structure for our tax base. These are things that both sides can be progressive about. So, having said that, um, then that takes us back to President Trump being a Republican or not. He made he's making a deal, and and the difficulty now is there's so much talk about the deal and who said what in the deal so chuck and nancy say oh no he agreed to what we were taught what we were proposing and we think it's great he's saying we agreed to some things but there are other things that are deal breakers the republicans are saying we're you know we we're concerned that he may be taking the opposite side and he's supposed to be with us the fact is, we as voters, we want them to do something. We want them to be lawmakers. Um, we want them to be um, mindful of what's best for us, not what's best for themselves. And so that's a difficult prospect as well because Donald Trump does what Donald Trump wants to do. So in the, at the end of the day, if Chuck and Nancy came to the White House with a plan uh, and Donald Trump said, okay, well, let's, let's try that plan. He could change his mind tomorrow. Um, you know, the, the elements of this particular plan involved DACA and the DREAM Act. It involved, I think there was a little bit of talk about tax reform. Um, and, of course, the debt ceiling, raising the debt ceiling. And so those are the main things I think they had a conversation about and came to some terms about. Now, is it going to go back and forth? Absolutely. Are people going to continue to report that the story is different than what we're hearing from one side or the other? Absolutely. We're going to continue to hear that as well. But at the end of the day, I think what they did was say, you know what, we can work across lines. And this is probably the best position he's put himself in in a while to say, I can work across party lines. And so, you know, let's see what happens. Um, but I tell you the one thing that I've said this before the Republicans need to do is they need to come to terms with the fact that he is not a Republican. And when it's time to select the person to represent them as president of the United States, they need to be a lot more mindful than what they did in 2016. Because 2016 was basically just a, it was a Hail Mary. It was a, a desperate attempt to win back the White House, which they've done. And the plan was, we'll win back the White House, we'll be, in tr we'll be in control of both chambers of Congress, and then we'll be able to do whatever we want. And the fact is, it has c turned out the complete opposite way, which is they've got the executive branch, they've got the legislative branch, and they've managed to be able to accomplish nothing. There we go. So, tweet me. Uh, leave comments below this. Uh, tweet is S-G-T-A-T-A-R-M. USA. I keep tweeting the president, waiting for him to tweet me back. So if you have comments, if you think he is or is not an independent or a Republican, or you think he is a Democrat in disguise, let me know. So with that, I will close this installation of the Sergeant at Arms. See you next time.